Hello? Are you back? Hi. Hi, poopy heads. Do you see me, poopy heads? Ahoy, poopy heads. Ahoy. Did I restart it correctly? Hold on. I'm gonna go check. It's been 5,000 years? Okay, I, I have privated it. I privated it. It's been privated. Because I accidentally totally didn't dox myself at all. Hell yeah! Okay, thank you, thank you. I did it, guys. I did it. Okay. Welcome back to the semen stream, you guys. Welcome back! Where all your dreams come true. Where your best girl is now a valley girl. You're welcome. Alright, let's go. I rolled onto my back and relaxed for a moment. Alright. Alright, alright. Enough messing around. If you're on the show, and you're an, not an underpaid grunt, come to the front of the mansion. Guess that includes me. I should start heading over. That includes you too, Tara. I can see... Oh, shoot. This is the wrong voice. Okay. <clears throat> that includes you too, Tara. I can see you playing, you know? You're not the... Oh, you're like not the boss of me. What have I got myself into? We found all the girls! Okay, alright, 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 alright. Um, go for the rich girl, refuse to sign the prenup. She'll probably like pretend like I'm a slave or something though. I don't know if I like that. She also she thinks I'm really stupid. Um, but the sports girl is super yandere, so I don't know if I like that either. The purple girl? I kinda like her, but she slaps me a lot, so I don't know if I'm a fan. Big boob? She's the girl that said yo. No, no. What did she say? Yeah. She's like, yes. And I'm like, no. Just because she has big boobs, okay? She called she said yes. I don't like I don't like yas. Yas was <laughs> I don't yeah. It was just her pretending to be dumb though. <laughs> I don't like you. Go with the childhood friend? I don't know. I haven't decided. Yeah, but the boobs are big? Yes, they are. <laughs> They're definitely... Well, actually, I can't tell. I don't know if the purple or the red have the bigger boobs. Maybe bit red has the... I need to do some math. Hold on. L let me get a ruler here. I'm gonna measure it on my computer screen. Who has the bigger boobs? Oh, red is bigger. I have confirmed. Based on my measurements with a ruler, the red is bigger than the purple. But purple is still pee hot. Thank you for the hydrate, by the way. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> I missed the introductions for everyone. Oh. Okay, okay, here. L let me give you an informed decision. Yellow is the Tom girl, but also she's like gonna kill you. Um, the white girl, the white haired girl, she is. I said white girl. <laughs> white haired girl. She is like the Ojo sama. She is a rich lady, but she'll probably work you to the bone. Purple girl slaps you a lot. I think that's about it. Um, the red girl. Uh, she got big boobies and she said, yes, which I hate, so, okay. Green girl, um, she's a streamer, um, but she talks in a valley girl accent, so I don't like that. Um, the brown-headed girl is your childhood friend, so she's, like, very generic childhood friend category thing. Divinity likes slappy slappy lady. I don't see anything wrong with the purple one then. You just gave her the, the valley girl? Well, like, you know, like, listen. I have to do, like, different voices. So, like, I've been trying to just, like, branch out because, like, I don't have that many voices, you know? So I had to, like, kind of, like, give them some stuff, okay? Okay. Oh, 
Oh, who? I don't know if I who I like the best though. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have I haven't decided yet. Mm, I don't know. Pick me. Ashy, you're not in the game though. I can't pick you. How can I pick you? You can come pick my nose though. But how do I pick you? E. And that's why Connor Lingus is perfect soulmate for each of you. But hi, Ashi. How are you? I'm sorry. You just drew a bunch of numbers and symbols that don't mean anything. It's like the bullshit math they like show on the screen in like a movie theater. Who would? Oh. Ah, you're late to the party, Connor Lingus. And you're just in time for the first alone time segment. Alone time segment? You can't find your soulmate without having a little alone time together. Time to pick your first soulmate candidate. One of the two lovely ladies you'll get to spend time with this week. Why do you sound like Mr. Chills? Who's Mr. Chills? Is that what I sound like? Is that what this voice sounds like? I sound like Mr. Chills. Who's Mr. Chills? Number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. Oh, that's Mr. Chills. Number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. Hey, Jay. How's it going? Thank you. Thank you. You know what? Maybe in my head, cat sounds like Mr. Chills, okay? Wait, I have to choose already? I haven't even had a chance to real talk with any of them yet. Don't... Don't think of it that way. Think of it more like, well... Who do you want to talk to the most right now? You... Uh, oh, I, I said you, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I guess. Alright, guys, help me pick! Are we gonna pick Allie, the childhood friend? Scarlet! Actually, you know what? Let's do a poll, let's do a poll. We're gonna do a poll. Who pick? Um, Ali. Childhood. Friend. Scarlet. Yas, big boob. Atera. Uh, Valley girl gamer. Violet. Oh, Violet was the Joe Sama. Uh, rich bitch. Yui... Wait, no! Wait, Ali... Ali's not the childhood friend. Ali is the... Yandere. Okay, and Yui is the childhood friend. And... Because I believe in democracy... Because I believe in democracy, everybody... Um... I will allow you to vote with your channel points. Because... Democracy is great. And I am the Senate. Ah hi! Morgan! Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, the raiders. Welcome in. How was your stream, Morgan? Also, ahoy! Ahoy! Welcome in. My name is Asagi Ame. I'm a Koi Fish VTuber. And today, we are doing... Whatever this is. Uh... Video game where I try to find love because I am a lonely fish. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome in. I feel like there's a lot of voting going on, which is good. Because I made I made it diplomatic, so one one channel point is literally is literally a vote. <laughs> So, I think someone's going really hard for Allie. I don't know who you are. Can only put it in one at a time, so it's lit. Yeah, it says button mashing. You're welcome. Button mash that. If you care enough, button mash it. Ah! I think someone is really going hard on the Allie, though. So, yeah, Allie is a Yandere sports girl. Or Scarlet. Who has big boobs and she says, Yas. Or is it gonna be Tara, the gamer girl that speaks in the valley girl accent? 
Or will it be Violet, who has 12 votes? Badge. Um, the Ojo-sama, who will probably work you to the bone. Or will it be Yui, your childhood friend? Because... Apparently, childhood friends never work. And... It's kind of sad. You have 21k? Fuck my fingers? <laughs> hey, I bet you Scarlet would love to fuck your fingers. Ah ha ha ha. Can't choose purple? No, I don't know. Uh... Am I... Um, I'm surprised you're doing a dating sim. VN? Now instead of the obvious day? Uh... What's the obvious day? Oh, Valentine's? Yo, fuck Valentine's, man. I mean... I'll do another one, I guess. It's in two weeks. I can do another one. Or something, I don't know. I... Valentine's super whatever, okay? Like... I'm always fucking single anyway, you know? Just chilling, I'm just... I'm chilling single, so... I will be by myself. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay, so we have with nine hundred and thirty-seven votes. I don't know who voted for what, but Elias, apparently you contributed three hundred and twenty-nine votes. Good job. Um, which one did you vote for? Did you wait, Elias? Who did you vote for? Who did you vote for? Who did you vote for? Yui? Oh, you were voting for Yui? Okay, so apparently... Basically, all of Yui was just Elias. And then... A lot of people voted for Ali, And a shit ton of people wanted Terra. So... I guess we're gonna go... Hey guys, it's me, Terra. We're gonna go see that valley girl now. Aha! <laughs> yas. Yas, queen. I hate advanced democracy. This is literally what you do on your channel all the time, okay? Elias, you let me vote, and I vote, and I give you my best, my best opinion, and you just fucking ignore me, okay? Okay. This is a threat. Alright. Tara! Yeah, actually, just think of Tara as you, except I'm gonna, like... Talk like really not like you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hang out with Tara first. All right, our work's cut out for us. Places, people, you know where to put Tara. Oh, we got our art. <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. Hold on. Arara, arara. What in the world did you just say? What did I say? What did I say? I don't know. What did I say? I don't know what I said. I said something. Yes, ma'am. Give us a minute to set up the scene, then go find her. As I walked closer and closer to the games room, I could hear people screaming bloody murder. Ah! What's O? Goal! Pentakiru! Aisu! Oh. Wait. Any hole is a goal. You're not, like, going anywhere. Your RRs are dangerous? Hell yeah, they are. Hey, Kim. I'm too young to die. Who the fuck is the question mark? I rushed inside as fast as I could. Oh, it's one, two, three, and four, five. What kind of brother would sacrifice his own flesh and blood to survive? Life is tough, Buttercup. No! I'll save you, bro! Some weird... Bro! Oh, I hope... <laughs> It's definitely not as creepy as Hardlegs R. <gasps> Hardlegs RR was so good. I mean, it was pretty funny. <laughs> He's definitely a man who doesn't. 
I mean, he knows what Ara Ara is. But like, it's more like... Like, just a man saying Ara Ara from the... For the inside of his belly and it's just like... Ara Ara, like... <laughs> I don't I don't know how to do it, but it was it was it was something. It was something. <laughs> it's the heroes that die first, you know. Bro Where was I? Oh yeah. Right. One down, two to go. Come on, get get over here. They were playing a fighting video game. Oh, sup, Connor Lingus? Give me like one second, okay? I got like to do like a bit of a, a pest control. Kill him first. All right, all right. Y'all lost fair and square. As promised, you guys know what you have to do. Five, the brother five grown as they each put on some kind of futuristic helmet. She's cute though. Look at her. She kind of cute. She pee cute. You're incredible, Tara. You decimated those guys without breaking a sweat. I like do make a living doing this, believe it or not. Though, like, I mean, it's been kind of boring. Why is that? You know, it's like the same old, same old, every day, you know? Though... I do have something in store, if you're down? Why not? Good. I'm just like, gonna need you to put on this like, non-suspicious at all helmet, you know? It's gonna be totally fine, just like, don't worry about it. Tara picked up a helmet from behind the couch and placed it on my head. This won't hurt a bit. Don't worry. Yes. Wait, why would it? It was like lightning ran through my head. Oh shit, is this VR? Is this VR? I think it's real. I'm in some kind of forest? Well, Connor Lingus, you're in here too? Where are we? I want to go home! Ugh, stop whining. You're just in the video game, come on. This isn't the first time you've seen this happen in fiction. That kind of thing exists now? Uh, last time I checked... I never heard anything about this. All right, all right. So maybe it's some kind of weird, kind of weird device I've never seen before. Can you like blame me for wanting to try messing with it? Wait, there's no way this could be a game. It looks too real. I had to admit, I had my doubts too. Everything looked as if there was really there. Dude took a few cautious steps forward, then some more. Oof. He smacked against some kind of invisible wall. There's some kind of invisible wall here. It really is a video game, huh? Actually, like, that's the wall of the game room. I thought this console thing would be like a deep dive sort of like vibe virtual reality video game, you know? But it seems like everything you do here is just replicated in the real world. Walk in too many steps in a certain way and smack! Doesn't that make this kind of useless? I guess. I mean, if you're like allergic to fun. Sound of the intercom played through the forest. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah, we hear you. What's up? You guys need to like log out of the game right now. If you're in the game too long, it'll fry your brain. What? How? Why? Uh, long story short, it's an experimental, how to say, game console that we had in storage. No idea how Terra found it, though. This show is always trying to find a new ways to kill me, isn't it? How much time do we have? Before it fright- oh, <coughs> fuck. 
before it fries your brain. I don't know, maybe a few minutes, maybe several hours. But it'll slowly sap your sanity the longer you're there. Just log out already. We don't know how. The brother five and I looked around frantically, but there wasn't any way for us to log out. Oh, I don't think you guys can like see the logout menu. I think it's an admin only kind of thing. If you can see it, Tara, then come on, log us out already. He cackled like a B-movie maniac. <laughs> Something tells me she didn't have much sanity to sap in the first place. Okay, maybe Gamer Girl is actually kind of crazy too. But it'd be like such a shame to leave so soon. Let's play a game first. It just so happens that, like, as an admin, I can change all of your avatar avatars as wi at, at will. At will. Check this out. Bam. Oh. I looked down to my hands, which had now become tiny little white wings. I looked down on my face and I I have a beak. I I became a bird. Oh, this is becoming Hato full boyfriend. Oh god, what did she do to us? We're pigeons! Let me out! We'll never become accountants now! I think I've got a new fetish. Yo. <laughs> uh. Ah! The pigeon five ran, ran around frantically like chickens with their heads cut off. I can't blame them. I looked up to Terry who seemed like a giant compared to us now. Now, I'm wondering... I, I'm sure you're wondering why I turned you all into birds? I guess you could say that. It's funny, Connor Lingus. Earlier, you told me, like, this whole show was like a dating sim. Except that you were in the driver's seat. Now, the shoe is on the other foot. <laughs> he cackled again like a wicked witch. Welcome to Pigeon Dating Sim. Battle Royale. You'll have to, like, seduce me if you want to get out of here. With each day that passes, I fear more for humanity's future. You wanted us to be pigeons for this? I mean, yeah, duh. The ratio of human to pigeon visual novels is totally out of whack, man. Haven't you heard of Hatsuful Boyfriend? I figure we should, like, balance that out. I am trapped in a killer virtual reality game. I am also trapped on a killer dating show. To make matters worse, I am also trapped in the body of a pigeon. Now, I need to seduce a woman with my avian charm. Oh god. You guys, this is a horrible idea! Why do we date her? You can imagine the kind of stress I'm under. Now. Seduce me. One by one, the Pigeon 5 fired up pickup line after pickup line at Terra, but to no avail. Come on, come on! Move those wings like you mean it! I tried my hand at a few too, but it was clear they had no effect. I can't imagine that being a Pigeon helped with that in any way. Let's try one more. How about... <gasps> okay, okay. <clears throat> what what's the correct answer here? Damn girl, you're a hoot. Or Damn girl, you're looking so fly. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> Damn girl, you're more addicting than quack. It's gotta be quack, right? Damn girl, you're you're more addicting than quack. They are all awful. I don't know, I like, um... I like the quack one. I'm a, yeah, I'm a pigeon. Oh, okay. I guess if we're a pigeon, then maybe we have to use the pigeon pun, which is fly. But hoot, hoot is... Hoot is for hooters, right? So... I think it has to be the fly one. Probably has to be the fly one. Yeah, I'm dating some ladies. Yeah, let's do the fly one. I'm pick the fly. With my li my will to live at an all-time low, I... 
Wait, did we pick the right one? Wait! Does this mean I picked the wrong one? The game went dark. A moment later, we were back in the game's room. What? We're back, thank god. I've got fingers, I can write, I can fill out a balance sheet. Aw, just when it was getting good. Dude, number five, kind of a wacko. Wait, is something burning? Kitsune, hi! The game console had smoke coming out of it. Yes, it's toast. What? What, like, happened? My mind's, like, all foggy? You okay, Tara? I'm, like, gonna take a nap. He jumped on the couch and within seconds was fast asleep. Brother Five and I decided it was best to never talk about this ever again. I don't know if I got points for whatever just happened with her. Hola! I stumbled back to my room and plopped onto my bed. Yo, my bed looks kinda nice though. I was about to close my eyes when I heard a knock at the door. I shuffled over in a haze. Hey there, Connor. Connor Lingus. Sorry to bother you this late. It's all right. What's up, cat? Don't mind me. Just gonna make myself real comfortable. Cat walked by me and comfortably sat herself on my bed. Yo, why is she on my bed now? Are you maidenless? I'm still maidenless, unfortunately. Coopsie, hey, how's it going? Oh my god. You have no idea how much better your beds are compared to the staff. You'd think the ones actually working here would get treated nicely. I closed the door and sat facing her on the opposite side of the bed. Never wash those sheets ever again! <laughs> yeah, her, her ass touched the, the sheets. I'm never washing that anymore. I guess if you're coming to my room at night to start a workers' union... I wonder, what would you want me to come to your room for instead? I can think of a few things. You'd think five women would be enough for a person. You're... Shoot, I don't even know what that fucking word is. Incorrigible. Incorrigible. It's probably incorrigible. Connor Lingus. Anyway, as the producer, I'm obliged to help you survive until the end of the show. Just until the end of the show? I'm... I'm heartbroken. Being your babysitter doesn't pay well enough to make it a long-term gig. I'm checking in with you each night to let you know what you're doing and give you some advice here and there. That's nice of you. Thanks, Kat. Well, to be honest, finding a new person to take your place would be a recruiting nightmare. Back to topic. Our audience loved your date with Tara today. Honestly, I've got no idea what to say about your, your date today with Tara. Except that I'm surprised anyone thought it was a good one. <laughs> ah! Can I be picky when my life's on the line? I guess not. That said, I'm hoping we can sprinkle a little bit more drama into the show. More romance, love triangle, less pigeons. So tomorrow, I want you to find out who your other soulmate candidate is and ask them out on a date. Alright guys, are we dating Tara again? Or are we dating someone else? I feel like we should date someone else, right? We should keep our options open, I think. Second place was... Yeah, we either get waifu or die. Wait, who got second place in the voting? Um, Shoot, am I allowed... How do I look at old dating results or polling results? Mm. Oh, Yandere? Okay, I guess we'll get the Yandere. <clears throat> Alright, sounds good to me. Ame, I have come here because I'm in trouble. Why are you in trouble? Don't be in trouble. Why are you in trouble? Really? Since you had such a great date today, I'm surprised you agreed so easily. Well, it is a weird... A little weird, but... 
At the end of the day, this is a TV show. You need ratings to survive. You're exactly right. And more specifically, you need those ratings to survive or they'll axe the show before the last day. It's almost Valentine's Day, I'm maidenless. Listen here, chump. Same. <laughs> Same. Don't worry, we're all good. What happens to me if that happens? Well, it'd be best if you didn't end up with anyone at the end of the show. Ah, got it. Well, that's simple enough. I'm impressed at how well you took that. Have you been on a life or death killing dating show before? Can't say I have. Well, that's pretty much what I needed to tell you before tomorrow. It's getting late. We both got big days tomorrow. How about we call it a night? Sounds good to me. It's worth anything. I'm sorry. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Connor Lingus. Good night, cat. He left my room, closing my door behind her. I went back to laying on my bed and closed my eyes. I kept thinking about Tara before I slept. Sound of waves, crashing against the shore. Hey. Oh shit. Yo. I can hear a woman's voice call out to me within a dream. You probably can't hear me in there, but... I try to respond, but no words come out. Connor Lingus, promise me one thing. Don't forget. Don't you dare forget. You, you promised. Promises are unbreakable, right? That's, that's what you told me. You promised. But you lied, didn't you? Uh oh. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! We kicked off our morning with a delicious meal made by Violet. So, tell us more about your dream, Tara. Oh, wait, you eat a. Uh. So, tell us more about your dream, Tara. I, like, don't remember much, but, like, I was in a video game, and... I was getting hit on by a lot of pigeons? Uh... How am I supposed to respond to that? What if it was, like, a sign or something? I'm sorry, what? It was a dream. Nothing more, I don't see how... Ali had a devilish grin on her face. I think it is a sign, Tara. It's a sign that you should try making video games. The world needs more pigeon dating sims. You're... you're so right. There's like, no time to waste. Tara ran off. Oh my, are you certain that was a good idea to spur her on? Of course! Seriously, what's the worst that could happen? I felt a chill run down my spine. Alright, time to choose, I think, our second date, you guys. Oh, there you are, Connor Lingus. How do you convince them to play Fortnite with you? You have to, like, show them your pinky. That's all. Or just tell him this. Listen, listen, listen. I got the best pickup line, you guys. I've got the best pickup line. Go up to any person and just be like, Hey, so... Can you hold your breath for three minutes? And then they'll be like, No, three minutes is too long. I like pass out. I'll fucking like die or something. And then just be like, Yeah, so three minutes is a long time.
Okay, anyway. Anyway. You missed nothing. Sorry, Ame. I haven't been in streams lately. I've been busy with COD. What does that fish have that I don't? <gasps> ah! In shambles. Ame, can you hold your breath for 16 seconds? I think I can, actually. I think 16, I can do it. But one minute's kind of long. One minute's kind of long, though. Don't worry. One minute kind of long. I'm sorry, Showa. 16 is, might be a little too short. I can hold my breath for 16 seconds. One minute, though... I may pass out. So one minute, maybe. One minute, maybe. Can you hold your breath for a second? <laughs> Anyway. Go pick up a girl. Fucking dare you. Do it. Let me know if it works. Ame, you live underwater. Shouldn't you be able to hold your breath indefinitely? I have a bubble. I live in a bubble. I mean, I can I can breathe in the water. With my ears. Wait, also, you guys! I forgot to, like, show anybody because I was, like, messing with this, um, with somebody. Um, do you guys want to see something kind of funny? I thought it was hilarious. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Because... I wasn't fucking ready when I saw this. Okay, are you guys... Okay, okay, all right. Prepare your bodies. Prepare your soul. Prepare... What's up? <laughs> How's it going, guys? I'm kind of cute. I'm pretty cute. Hey! I'm kind of cute, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Ho ho! Okay. I'm unsub. What do you mean? What? You're unsubbing? Yo! Rude! Hi, Yoyozaki. Hello. Oh my god. Wow, you guys didn't appreciate that? I thought that was hilarious. I thought it'd be so funny. Why? Ah! Ah! I'm suing Ami for making me blind. <laughs> Whoever gifted my stuff, can I have it back? <laughs> thank you for the hydrate. Thank you, thank you. It's so nice. So, I have this little special button that I can do that to my head, but um... You guys don't have that power, so... <laughs> Haha. 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 Ha. Ha. This is why Ame is Kamiyoshi. Is Bald Ame redeemed? No. I haven't set it up yet. I'm thinking of how much I should make it. <laughs> hey, have you seen... <laughs> Awasaki Ame Bald? You may be tired of the financial compensation? Yo. Fuck off. <laughs> It's like the mesophilioma, like, thingies I see on TV. They're like... Have you or your loved one has been diagnosed with mesophilioma? You may be entitled to financial compensation. I hear that thing all the time. Wait, <gasps> why isn't my emotional damage coming off? Yo, oh, is it broken? Hold on, let me try. Emotional damage! I fixed it. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. <clears throat> I've been looking for you. Oh, sorry. Just... Emotional damage! Oh, it was just slow. Wait, what is up there? Hold on. Do you guys see... Something? Oh, wait. Never mind, it went away. Okay. Oh, was it hella loud? Oh. Yo, I don't know. I'm sorry, I didn't know it was that loud. <laughs> I'm sorry! Okay. 
I've been looking for you. It's time to decide who's your other soulmate candidate. You remember what we discussed yesterday, right? How could I forget? It's not like I've ever forgotten anything important before except for... everything. They Save the snark for whichever poor girl you end up seeing today. Ow, that stings. It's just between you and your two soulmate candidates from here on out, so choose wisely. Wait, really? So, if we don't get chosen? What are we supposed to do? Well, for starters, we're in tropical paradise. Think of it as a vacation. Soulmates aren't real anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. They're not real? Oh boy, Connor Lingus. You might want to pick your second soulmate candidate quick. Wait a minute, Ter Cat. Will we be, like, splitting up for the group after today? Nope, don't worry. You'll still be able to hang out together. And who knows where that will go. Whew. Good to know, like, my battle plans still come in handy. I mean... I mean, uh, friendship plans. Good to know I still get to see my new friends. Yeah. Yes, sir. So without further ado, Connor Lingus, who's the... Unlucky girl. Alright. I guess we're gonna have to spend it with Allie, since Allie won second place in the vote. Although, I kinda wanna pick Yui, but... Uh, mm, yeah, it's Allie. It's Allie. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna go pick Allie, because... Democracy. Oh my god, Kitsune. <laughs> Allie. We'll make it happen. Let's get the cameras rolling, people. We're in for a bumpy ride. Now be a deer and give us a minute to set up scene. Hmm? Yo, it's Allie! How oh, I let Allie talk me into this, I'll never know. Y you sure this is a good idea? There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Allie grabbed my hands and pulled me towards the slope of the hill. Relax, Connor Lingus. What's the worst that could happen? Well, I could die. Would it be too much to ask to be on a TV show that didn't end up with me dead? Don't worry, I gotcha. Oh, shit! Ali slipped on her rollerblades and pulling me down the hill with her. I tried to step back up on reflex, but it was all I could do to stand up with the rollerblades. Oh, fuck! We started rolling down the hill, faster and faster and faster. Ali was rolling down the hill backwards at full speed. I could see the panic in her eyes. I, could I couldn't figure out how to stop. We were going faster and faster. I screamed. Gosh, your face was so priceless. I love it. Ali turned around effortlessly and slowly glided next to me. Without having let go of my hand. <gasps> She's holding my hand! Our breakneck speed became slower and slower as she steered us back and forth repeatedly. Before I knew it, we were gliding down the road smoothly. The wind felt nice. Now you got the hang of it! You got a funny way of teaching it. The best way to teach a bird is to... F to fly is to throwing it off a cliff, no? What the fuck? That's... Definitely a way of looking at it. Don't worry about it. You weren't even in danger. Have you been rollerblading for a long time? Nope. I actually learned, just learned how to do it today. Dude, this girl's a liar. This girl's a liar. You think? You think? You think? Yo, this lady. Okay. What about never being in danger? You're quite the daredevil, aren't you? What gave that away? She laughed as she slapped me on the back. You know, you're a pretty quick learner. You picked up rollerblading almost as fast as I did. Well, I've got a pretty great teacher. <gasps> Don't fucking lie! She sucks! Okay. It's a lot of fun hanging out with you, Allie. Shucks, I feel the same way, Connor Lingus. 
It's great to be around someone willing to go on an adventure. The world's gone crazy. We're all gonna die. You might as well be around people that make worth like life worth living. Couldn't say it better myself. You know, I bet you can't skate backwards. Ali reverse and starts skating backwards as if to taunt me. Oh, why is that? I just think it's a bit too scary for a person who screams when they start going down a little bump. Yo, this girl... You guys, I don't know if I like her. All she does is taunt me. And she's like a young... She wants to kill me. She almost killed me. She killed her dad. I don't know about this one, you guys. I think we made a mistake. I'm Connor Lingus, and I can't handle a little bump. Ah! Help me! Come on, it was a hill. Yeah, yeah. Felt a firelight inside of me. Bring it on, Allie. Oh, are you sure? Did I stutter? There comes a time in every person's life where we know we're taking a stupid bet, but we do it anyway. Let's do a backflip. We're stupid enough to do a backflip, right? And did a backflip! Wait, am I doing a flip or is the world flipping? I'm not sure. Then it dawned on me. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! No! I won't let you kill Connor Lingus! What? You're gonna wish we had! What? what just... What the hell? You're up! You okay, Connor Lingus? Try not to move. You're a little banged up right now. But you'll just be fine in no time. Cat and I treated your injuries pretty well if I do say so myself. What what happened? You uh well skated backwards? We're defining skating quite liberally, huh? How'd I get here? I carried you here. Oh man, my head. Take it easy. It's only been a few hours since you KO'd yourself. Uh, well, it's sort of my fault, but... I made you some food. It should help you get your strength back quick. Thanks, Ali. It's, that's really nice of you. Don't expect something that Violet would make. All I can promise you is that food is probably healthier than my last suggestion before you knocked yourself out. I'll take my chances. I took a bite of the food cautiously. <coughs> For a moment, Ali was wide-eyed with shock and terror. Ha, I'm just messing with you. The food's delicious. Thanks, Ali. I just figured I'd get a little payback. You know, no one forced you to make that jump. She laughed and slapped me on the shoulder, then ran her hand through my hair and scratched it. Oh! <gasps> She's touching my hair? Oh my god, okay. I found myself smiling and admiring her... The blue of her eyes. I'm looking forward to our next adventure, Connor Lingus. But promise to be not too stupid again, okay? I'll try my best, but people can't help but do stupid things to impress a pretty girl. I guess... Impressed is what we call it. We spent the rest of the day making fun of each other for how stupid we were being. Somehow, some way, Allie could take the ordinary and turn it into an adventure. I was laughing so hard that I could barely feel the pain. Okay, so are we liking her? I don't know if I like... I don't know. I don't know, you guys! She head pat me, but she also tried to kill me. I can't tell. I can't tell. I was about to enter my room when I felt a familiar tap on my shoulder. Hey there, Connor Lingus. Got a minute? I want to make Ter Terra and Allie jealous. It'd be good for the ratings. S sorry what? You're no fun, anyway. He opened the door to my room and walked inside. I followed suit. I've got some great news. I'm all years. Turns out my strategy worked. We've got enough ratings to avoid early canning. Don't get me wrong. People loved it when you and Terra were the main ship, but... 
Now with Ali as a serious competition, let's just say online threads went from optimistic and united to downright murderous. She won the fuck. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear I get to live another day. For now, at least. But that'll change quickly if our viewers don't feel like your relationship with both of them are progressing. Cat laughed and took a seat on my bed. Now hop on this dick, son. You know, I'm curious how you feel how you how you're feeling about Tara and Allie. Between those two, do you have a favorite? Um you guys are we liking Tara more? I think or Ali. I think I like Ali more than Tara, but right? Tara kinda cuckoo crazy. Kinda cuckoo crazy with her with her whatchamacallit bird thing. Her bird obsession. Yeah, I'm I'm on Team Ally too. Out of the two at least. You like cat better? Okay, cat is one not one of the options, okay? <laughs> I can't there's no cat options. Alright, we're picking Ally. Though I've known you her for less time, I think I like Ali more right now. She makes every moan exciting, and I just can't get enough of, about that. Really? Well, I can't say I'm too surprised, but maybe just a little. Let's see where things go with her. Something tells me you'll be hanging out with her soon enough. Anyway, that's it for today. You can sit on my dick later. Keep it up and who knows? You might just be the first one to make it out of here. <sighs> Night, Connor Lingus. Is Cat your wing friend? Oh! I... no. She's like... I don't know what she is. I don't... Hmm. No, I don't think she's your wing friend. She's more like... the producer who wants to kill you or something. Good night, cat. But I think... Yeah, she's the host, but I'm pretty sure she's... She has to be one of the love options, but I don't know how to get her. I have no idea. Guess it's time to turn in for the night. I see waves crash soundlessly against the shore, dissolved in nothing before they reach my feet. This must be my dream. She's next to me. I can't make out her face or even hear her voice, but I know it's her. The way the poon po pool <laughs> pale moonlight dances in her hair is so nostalgic. You look like you've seen a ghost, Connor Lingus. You. Somehow I can't see your face nor hear your voice, but I know it's you. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I hear my own voice speaking as if it were coming through an old cassette. Are you thinking about what's going on out there now? Ten bucks that it's better on this side. Out there. Every day is a fight to stay alive. Here, at least there's food, shelter, a place to call home. And most importantly, high speed and unlimited internet. I reach for her hand and hold it tight. And people that love you. I know. I love you too. I know how lucky I am to be here, but... I still want to see the other side. Why? You wouldn't survive a day out there. Same goes for me. Waku, thank you so much for the hydrate. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> because it's real. It's real life. Where things happen that aren't planned by some producer. Where living isn't just following some script. i do anything for just a taste of it. We've been over this. I know. I'm just so tired of this, I... What the hell are we doing here, Connor Lingus? Felt the same way she did, but there was nothing we could do. Not if we valued our lives. There's no escaping from here alive. We're living another day. But what are we living for? 
You really want to see the other side that badly? Yes. I laughed. When she had that look in her eye, I knew there was no convincing her otherwise. Even if she had to go alone, she'd see it through. And I loved her for that. I guess you'll owe me ten bucks pretty soon. You'll be the judge of that. Uh-oh, uh-oh! You guys got a gulp in? Hey, yo. That's kind of pog. Pog. Wait. I forgot, I'm gonna add a tag to my... Um... I'm a VA now. Gulpin' these nuts. Nuts! Oh my gosh, I heard what happened yesterday. Are you okay? No worries, I'm... I'm good. Thanks, Yui. I'm so relieved. Did you not be resting after yesterday? Nah, no need. I've only got a few scrapes and bruises. I'm surprised the both of you aren't dead after what you pulled. Believe me, me too. W wait, what? I mean... <clears throat> no worries, Scarlet. I've been rollerbating for longer than most people ever have. Technically, that's probably true, but... You should, like, tell us how to... R teach us how to rollerblade, Ali. It seems like it'd be so much fun. Are you sure, Tara? I feel like that might not be a good idea. What's like the worst that could happen? I like your attitude, girl. Come on, let's hit the road. Ali grabbed Tara's hand and pulled her away. Sometime late. Burm, burm, burm. Hey, Tara. How was skating? There's... no words. I think Allie broke Tara. Scarlet waved her hand frantically in front of Tara's face as if to check if anyone was still there. Tara? You in there? Hey Tara. The internet's back. I guess nobody's home. Is there a medic on the island? Luckily, Tara was fine. After that was resolved, we spent the rest of the morning playing video games as therapy for Tara. She still doesn't remember a thing about what happened. What did you see, Tara? I guess we'll never know. Mmm... Maybe Ali, like, wanted to kill Tara? So she, like, yandered her way there and she's trying to, like, stab Tara or something. I don't know, I'm actually not sure if Ali is still the Yandere character. I can't tell. I can't tell you guys, I'm like still confused about all the... All... Yeah, Tara's a competition, right? So I feel like Ali maybe like... Threatened... Tara... Or something. She's like... If you try to talk to him... I will kill you... With a roller blade. I will run over your neck... With the roller blade. I will tie you to the ground... And make sure you can't move and run over your neck with a roller blade. Maybe that's what happened. I figured it's about time to talk with Kat about my next date, but I felt a tap on my back. Kat, is that? I turned around and the girl in front of me was surprised as I was. Kat? No, this is Allie. Ah, uh, Allie, I'm sorry, what's up? She looked to see if anyone was around before she spoke. Have you noticed anything weird lately? What do you mean? Don't get me wrong. I had a lot of fun on our date earlier, but something about this show is weird. I went out for a walk in the forest late night, you know, because it's gorgeous and all. But after I got there, I must have dozed off for a minute. Taking a nap in the forest at night? You're braver than most, Allie. Let me finish. When I woke up, I was back in my room, on my bed. I swear, I don't remember ever walking back. Huh? That sounds pretty crazy if it really happened. You sure you just didn't have a weird dream? Now that you mention it, I tried Scarred's cooking for fun last night. That was a big mistake. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but... Did you notice anything strange happening last night? 
I don't think so. I think it was just a regular night. I had a conversation with Kat in my room, but that was it. Damn, five girls wasn't enough, huh? Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Well, I guess I'll be staying away from Scarlet's cooking and chalk it up to a weird-ass dream. Thanks for listening, Connor Lingus. It's my pleasure, Allie. See you later, alligator. She ran off just as fast as she had come in initially. Someone's in a hurry. Hey, cat, I was looking for you. Afternoon, Connor Lingus. Same here. I wanted to ask, did you guys do anything last night to Allie? Not that I know of. Our staff leaves the cast alone at night. I guess there's nothing to worry about. Kat's been honest with me so far about everything. Right? Anyway, more importantly, it's time for phase two. You've done pretty decently with setting up Terra and Allie as your soulmate candidates. People are eating it up. The romance, whatever. More importantly, every time they're on screen, we get one hell of a ratings boost. From here on out, you'll be going on dates with either of them. That'll be your best bet to get out here alive. That sound good to you? You almost make it sound like I have no choice. I'm glad we're on the same page as always, Connor Lingus. But enough with the pleasantries. Who's the unlucky girl today? Ha ha ha. Alright guys, uh... I think we're gonna have to go with Ali. I think Tara is too weird. I'm not saying weird is a bad thing, but... I don't know about the... I don't know about the... Mm. I think we're gonna go Ali. I think Tara is too weird with the birds. Allie. Really now? Considering how you KO'd yourself last time. But that's none of my business. We'll start filming down at the beach. See you there. Howdy, Connor Lingus. You ready for round two? I figure you might want to hang out somewhere where the rollerblades don't work. I spent all night dreaming of the next chance I could use those two little death machines. And I think you'll love what I got in store today. There's no wheels where we're going. What do you mean? You'll see. Follow me. At uh, first, I'm gonna need you to close your eyes. I'm not sure where I like where this is going. Nothing to worry about, Connor Lingus. I'm, I'll be right next to you the whole time. Because that's always gone well. Hasn't it? Allie moved behind me and covered my eyes with her hands. Now let's just keep walking forward. Trust me. Right. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't somewhat enjoying this. My heart skipped a beat when she wrapped her arms around me. Oh, you guys! Okay, we held hands with her. She's like giving us head pads, and now she's hugging us. Yo. Yo. It was fate. We are in love. This is happening. We are gonna make babies. We are smashing. Oh my god. This shit is lit. I cautiously took step of took a step after step forward. First I felt dirt, then sand, then water? Are you trying to make me drown myself? Of course not, although I have to admit, this does look a lot how they killed people back in the day. Ah, uh, you're gonna wait to take a really high step forward next or it's gonna hurt! I raised my right leg as high as I could, then stepped forward. Something clanged, like metal. Next I brought over my left leg. Keep your eyes closed for just a second longer. I just gotta do one thing. 
Ellie let go of me and took a step forward. Brace yourself! Wait, what? I was knocked off my feet by sudden movement and opened my eyes on reflex. Water sprayed on my body as I struggled to regain balance. All aboard the SS... Street Alley! Why she wants to call herself a street? Is she a hoe? Anyway. When and where did you get a boat? Oh, Saint. Oh. It's not street? Bye-bye, Zeno. How to see you soon. Bye-bye. Never mind. Saint Alley? Why? Why is she a saint? Okay, that's weird too. Anyway. Pretty cool, right? I found this baby in the back of the mansion this morning. Just found it? Anyway, I asked if Cat... I asked Cat if I could take it for a spin. He said that as long as we stay within a few clicks of the island, we're good, or the engine will automatically shut off. What could go wrong? <laughs> There's no thinking... fun and thinking that, is there? St. Anne in Pokemon? Okay... okay... So why bother? Why indeed... thought the... Stuck person stuck on life or death dating show. We cruised around the island for a while, taking note of the different buildings covering the island. The mansion seems so small from way out here. Hours flew by as we cruised around. Is there like unlimited gas on this boat or something? Don't you need like... Gasoline or... Petrol or... Something that... Or is like a boat a boat where it's like... Is it like a rowboat? Where we're doing with the arms or... The sailboat? It's a sailboat? Do you need gasoline? It's powered by love. The power of love, anime, and friendship. The boat will move. If we believe, the boat will move. Yeah. Allie took a deep breath and sighed. You okay, Allie? You don't seem as chipper as usual. I... I guess I'm a little homesick. It's nothing to do with you, I promise. I just... I'm just worried about my old man. I'm sorry, wasn't your father... Yeah, he's long gone. You know the old story about New Asia. I'm talking about Bill. He was a good friend of my dad's, and he's taking care of me and a whole lot of other kids. Sounds like a cool dude. You sure have a way with words, don't you, Connor Lingus? I don't dwell much in the past. It just slows you down. Couldn't agree more. Is that the amnesia talking? Who knows? She laughed as she put her hand tenderly against my cheek. Oh, she's touching my face! I'm gonna touch my face too. I can I can I can feel like I'm in the I'm in the I'm in this uh this movie thing. Touch my face. As if Ali's touching my face. Face is being I'm more worried that he'll get himself into trouble if I'm not around to keep him in check. What what's he like? Let's just say that a lot of of how I act is from him, but I'm much more restrained. If you're like this, I guess... I wouldn't even survive a single day hanging out with him. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing at all. Ali made a sharp turn. The sudden force almost threw me out of the boat. Hey, Hi! what was that for? Jassy, Lazy Moo, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome to the semen stream. Oh, nothing at all. I couldn't help but smile at her. She was practically shining when she had that devilish grin. I'm sure he's doing just fine, Allie. Ah, he's probably hi. watching you right now, just to make sure you're safe. Coopsie, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Welcome to the semen stream. Welcome in. You're probably right now that I think about it. He always... He, he always wastes the day watching shitty reality TV shows. Which gives me an idea. What's that? Oh, okay, hold on. <clears throat> arara, arara. Oh, Alan, thank you so much for subbing to my YouTube. I appreciate it. Thank you. Arara. YouTube ni subscribe. Arigatou gozaimasu. 本当に... 
ありがとうね。With one hand on the wheel, Ali turned to me and kissed me on the lips. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, you guys! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo! You guys, 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 Am I telling her to suck my nipple or something? Yo! Oh, so she kisses you lower! I fucking knew it, you weirdo. <laughs> no! Yo, you guys! The maiden has kissed me. I will no longer turn into an ugly frog or something. Yo! I kissed her back. It felt like lightning running through my veins. The boat started to rock. Why is the boat rocking back and forth? You guys, it's not like we're having sex on the boat, right? Why is the the boat rocking back and forth? That's got to give a Bill a heart attack. Seriously, what kind of father lets their daughter go on a trashy show like this? I couldn't help but laugh. Whatever. It's been a fun ride so far. And here's to the next one with you, Connor Lingus. She kissed me again. <gasps> she kissed me again?! Wait, why does the boat just suddenly start moving when she kisses me? Does, is the kiss code for something? Is the... Is kissing in this game code for like... Naughty stuff? Is this like... Maybe it's code because they don't want to like put it in the game that things are happening so they're like, you know, they don't want to make it R18 or anything. Maybe. Mm -hmm. You guys, this is kind of so unrealistic. <laughs> uh, well, oh, maybe. We spent the rest of the day together cruising around on the boat till we ran out of daylight. Bolt sussy. I was about to turn in for the night when I heard a knock on my door. Hey, Kat, I thought you weren't gonna come over tonight. Sorry about that. I got tied up in some things. Is everything okay? Good as always. Care to join me for a walk? Sure, that sounds nice. Then away we go. We walked at a relaxed place with Cat slightly ahead, leading the way. So, how are you feeling about day three, Connor Lingus? Who's your front runner now? I still like Allie, because we almost made a baby. If anything, getting to meet and know the other girls made me like her even more. It's all I can do just to keep up with her, but each moment with her is so worth it. Oh, that's cute. Also a perfect answer for the camera, thank you very much. I guess you'll be giving her fanbase some more things to be go rabid over. You can say that again. Perfect. Well, I'm happy you've got at least one girl you're interested in. But it helps you got chemistry with both. Tomorrow, we'll be milking this love triangle by having you date the girl you didn't today. Sounds good to you? I'm noticing a pattern and making it sound like I have a choice when I really don't. None of us really have a choice nowadays, I'm afraid. Alright, I gotta get back to the... ...editing today's footage. You ready to head back to the mansion? Sounds good to me. We walk back in comfortable silence. Night. Night. See you later, cat. Well, if we get caught trying to escape, there's no telling what would happen to us. It's a chance we have to take. I know, but we need to know what we're up against. 
We know the islands better than anyone by now, Connorlingus. We'll be fine. I'm not so sure. Damien's brought in that scientist for his, for his latest experiment. All I've heard is she's the one who brought the prototype. The one Damien used to turn Six into a vegetable. Wait, Damien and Six? Wait, whoa. There's Six? Okay, hold on. Not to mention the old test audience, too. Shit. I think they must have killed at least a hundred people by now. They still haven't perfected it. If we get caught... I get what you're trying to say. Ahoy! Are you still with me on this? It's not too late. Oh, Kimi Kokoro! Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Ahoy! Welcome in. Hi, everybody. My name is Asagi Ame. I'm a koi fish beach. Welcome to the semen stream, you guys. You're playing Cinderella Phenomenon. I hope your stream went really well, Kimiko Koro. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Still, me w still with me on this? It's not too late. Don't even have to ask. Of course I'm with you. Who are you? Somehow I know you're close by. But every time I try to see your face, the dream ends. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in, you guys. Welcome in. A beach scene? Seriously? Not only gratuitous, but oh so predictable. Oh, come on. It's the beach. Don't be so negative. I guess you're right. It's not every day you get to go to the beach. Are you alright, Tara? You looked better. Tara was practically crawling on the beach sand like a zombie with one arm. Sunlight is like my worst enemy. We meet again, you piece of shit. There's some shade on the beach umbrella over there, Tara. You look like you could use it. I swear I've never seen Tara move so fast. Let's go into the water. Come on. Scarlet grabbed Violet by the hand and pulled her towards the water. Ah, uh, but I didn't bring anything to change! Owie! Owie! Now that's a spirit! Wait up, you guys! And just like that, they're off. You up to join them? I'd be crazy to miss out on this, just one thing first. Allie pulled me in with her arms and kissed me passionately. <gasps> you guys, oh my god! She kissed us in front of everybody! You guys, I have I have a girl. I have a maiden. I am no longer a maidenless. I have a maiden. This is this is confirmed. She literally pulled me in her arms and kissed me passionately. We are smooching. We are our our split our spit is swapping. Our my mouth is touching her mouth. It's like <laughs> fake, she just wants your money. Well, sucks to be her because I have no money. Ha ha, sucker. Suck me harder. Suck all the money you can get because you're not sucking anything. Suck it. Suck it. You know, sometimes I like a forceful girl, you know? You are boof packing. Yes, we are boof packing. <laughs> We're everywhere, you know? I see no illustration for it, so it didn't happen. It happened in the words. Look at the words. Ali pulled me in with her arms and kissed me passionately. It's hotter when the girl other girls are around. You think they saw? Oh <gasps> my god, she's an exhibitionist too? What is wrong with this lady? Yo, is it a good thing or bad thing to be an exhibitionist? Is that a good thing? Do is that a plus or is that a minus for us? I feel like I feel like this is a poll. I think this we need to put it to a poll here. I don't know if about I like exhibition. Eggs. Yes. Ooh. No. Ooh. All right. I put up a poll. Absolutely a plus. Mm. Maybe she'll be more into kinky your stuff, doing stuff out in public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically what exhibition is, right? I don't know. I don't think that's a plus. I think that's a negative. I don't know. I don't. I don't know about doing it in front of everybody. 
I couldn't stop my jaw from dropping. The look on your face is so priceless, my god. Try to keep up. Allie ran to join the other girls in the water. I smiled and followed suit. We spent the rest of the morning enjoying the warm weather on the beach. I thought I was supposed to hang out with uh, Tara. What happened? Ah, uh, my head. You okay? You don't look so good. Not so loud. Ugh. My head's killing me after I had a ton of wine last night. Still had to edit our broadcast after that, which didn't help. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the woman who decided whether I get to live or die every night. And she was very, very drunk when she did that. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Clearly, you're still alive, Connorlingus. So it's all good. Believe me, you'd drink too if you worked here. Look at Brothers 5. Working at Futuristic Evil Corp has come to was has, has to be with some benefits, right? You'd think, but you still have to pay for dental out of pocket. See, they don't get dental either. You guys can't complain about getting dental. Mods, I'm looking at you. <clears throat> Before I get forget what this show's all about. Today's the day you go on a date with... Who was your other soulmate candidate again? Oh my god, you guys. You guys voted for Exhibitionist, yes? Yo, y'all are... Y'all are... Weirdos. I mean, you guys are so cool. So cool and mysterious. <laughs> How much did you drink last night, cat? Whatever. I knew that. I was just testing you. Duh. Right. All right. Let's get the second date with Tara started. We're all freaks. Yeah, duologues. You're so cool and mysterious. What? 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 I knocked on the door to the games room. Hey, Connorlingus. What's up? Thought I'd check in and see how you're doing with your game. Let me, like, show you what I'm working on, then. Tara handed me her game device. Not all the art's, like, ready yet, but I'm hoping it'll be done soon. It's like a farming game. I had to ditch the pigeon dating idea after, well, like, finding out it was already done. That's really a shame for the whole world, really. But in this game, you get to, like, live in the country, out in the... Li and live in the village, out in the country, make friends, raise crops, and like, maybe it's like, maybe like Farmville a little bit. Decimate all the invaders with your giant mecha pigeon death machine. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> and there's like, one million possible weapon combination. And... Wow, that sounds so cool. I'd love to play it. I'm curious. How come you decided to make a farming... Oh my god, did you just clip that? Hold on, wait. I want to hear it. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I want to watch the clip. Hold on. Can I... Yeah, duologues. You're so cool and mysterious. <laughs> Yeah, duologues, you're so cool and mysterious. Yeah, duologues, you're so cool and mysterious. Okay. <laughs> I regret everything. Okay. Mm -mm. I'm curious, how come you decided to make it a farming game? Um, good question. They've got... They just got like a special place in my heart. I used to just like play these morning till night like every day. 
You can like probably tell I'm not really like a god and party kind of person, even though I like sound like this. But to be honest, I don't know enough people to go to parties anyway, but like whatever. Sometimes it's more fun to do just your own thing. Do I have permission to use it? Yeah, sure. You can do whatever you want with that. You can make it your ringtone. Make it your... Flushing sound of the toilet. Make it your... I don't know. Something. Sure. You do, you do what you want. You can do that. I'll let you. Sometimes it's more fun to just do your own thing or... Hey, it's your choice on how you spend your time. They're, they're both really similar though. I don't know if like one gives off a different vibe from the other. Am I trying to like... Mm, okay, maybe sometimes... Sometimes it's, it can be more fun to stay indoors and just do what you enjoy. That's like how I feel about it. Enough talking. Just try playing it. Alright, here we go. The title screen displayed with a click. Star Blue Valley. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a game already. I was a mecha pilot who got tired of life in mecha core. And decided to move out to the country to become a farmer. I was pretty good one at that. Every season, I learned to plant, water, and harvest new kinds of crops. Kara would give me advice for farming every season. Her face was so close to mine. She watched my every move with a pensive expression. Farming and fishing felt great, but fishing wasn't was almost impossible to do at first. Mecha parts of the game felt incredible. You could even get to know the villagers and have relationship with them too. Okay, actually, you guys listen. Maybe Tara was the correct choice because she fucking made a video game which is playable in one day. She made a whole ass fucking video game that has fishing, farming, dating sim. I don't know what the mecha parts are, but she created this in one day. I I don't know how how huh? Yes? Huh? Um, I don't know how this happening, but she did that in one day. We are proud of her. Go Terra. Maybe I'm Team Terra now. I don't know. What if she just copies Stardew's Valley formula? Okay, I, I'm assuming in this universe it doesn't exist. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I hope not. I hope not. There's just one thing that was a bit weird. First, wow. What he have done so far is incredible, Terra. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, really, it's incredible. I never thought you can combine farming and being a mecha pilot in the same game, but you did it just fine. Thanks, Connor Lingus. That's, like, so nice of you to say. There's just one thing I think that was a little off. What's that? A any feedback would be so great. I feel like the relationships with the townspeople were a little weird. The dating aspect... Didn't really feel right? Ah, I like totally knew you'd notice that. It's like kind of embarrassing, but I've never actually like dated before, so I had no idea what it's like really like, you know? And like to be honest, I've like never really had like a real friend either. And like I'm being so open to you guys right now. And I'm being so Emotional. I'm like so sorry. But if it's like too much to ask. Her voice suddenly reduced to a whisper. Maybe like you and I could be like friends? I'd be honored to be your friend. That said, please don't trap me in a video game again. Sorry, what? Anyway. Watching you, like, play gave me some good ideas. Want to help me with testing them? Sure, I'd be happy to help however I can. 
Yeah, we got we just got friend zoned, but that's okay. We have Ali. I'm not angry at the fact that we got friend zoned by Terra. We have Ali. Ali will save us. Not save us, but Ali will something 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 something. Ali will do something. Ali Ali yes. Ali yes. Ali yes. Ali yes. We both suggested ideas she implement, and we test it together and repeat. Kept, it just kept getting better and better. Tara's smile and enthusiasm was contagious. I couldn't help but be excited for her and in awe of her drive. What's a neat? Wait, wait, wait. I don't even understand your sentence. You got friend zoned by a neat that's basically an in. What's an. What? I'm getting in on something? What's a neat? Shut in. Oh. An acronym for not in education, employment, or training. Refers to people... Oh, okay. I got friend zoned by someone who doesn't have a job? She clearly has a job. She's making a video game. She's a streamer. Are you saying streamers are neats? Are you saying I'm a neat? I'm a neat? I'm a neat. She has a job. Everybody take it back. If she doesn't have a job... I am also... Yo, I'm homeless too. Wait, I do have a job outside of streaming. Wait, if streaming is a full time job though, they're neats. Are you saying all the big time VTubers are all neats? Are you calling Gargura? Are you calling Hosho Marine a neat? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Am I a neat Ame? Yes. <laughs> By definition, you are a neat. 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 Oh, they're employed by a company. Yeah, Dulogs, you're a neat. You're a neat who makes bank, but you're a neat. You're a neat. Neat. One day, I'll also be a neat. We spent the whole rest of the day working on our game, but it only felt like minutes. I'm just glad it wasn't another virtual reality game. Thank you, Duologs. I'll get it. Hell, I think that's neat. Same. I was feeling too restless after today's date to wait in my room, so I went for a walk downstairs. Oh, hey, Connor Lingus. I was just about to go up and check on you. Hey there, cat. What's up? Huh. Oh. There were some fancy desserts here from last week, but I can't find them anymore. Guess I'll take that out of the Brother Five's paychecks. How do you know it was them? They're like clockwork. Lunch. Ali looked like a deer in headlights on the other end of the kitchen. Cat hadn't seen her yet. He makes direct eye contact with me and then hightailed it out. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk to you. What's up? How'd your date with Tara go today? Um, I mean, it was pretty nice, I think. It was it was very wholesome. There was no like kissing on the mouth or anything, but it was pretty nice. I would, you know what? Between a scale of a eh to uh, awesome, I feel like it's closer to awesome. Hi, Tara. It was great. I have to admit, hair is very different from my initial impression of her. I feel like I'm seeing the real her now, and I I like that. I like the sound of that. Who would have thought you'd say something like this after your rather unique first date, right? Life sure has a sense of humor. Anyway, you're probably safe for at least another day, thanks to the ongoing rivalry between Tara and Allie. The stake... Oh, oops. Ah, ah. <clears throat> the stakes are rising, and so are our precious ratings. So without further ado, it's time for phase three. 
You've only got one day, one date left with each of them before the final day. So make them count. You're not out of the woods just yet. Will do. All right, good. Oh. Uh. Well, I need to get back to preparing for tomorrow's show. And you better rest up for tomorrow. You get only one first... You get one first third date with a girl, right? Sounds good to me, Cat. See you later, Connor Lingus. Good night, Cat. And thanks for the help. I realize I'd probably be screwed without you. Don't thank me yet. I walked back to my room and plopped on my bed. Time to get some shut eye. All right, we're out of the mansion. Next stop, the beach. I told you the staff wouldn't suspect a thing. That's because nobody's been stupid enough to try to escape till now. Maybe people should have been a little bit more stupid a little sooner. Easier said than done. He grabbed my hand and pulled me along. We'll go through the forest. Come on. We ran through the forest as if devils were chasing us. The truth was not far from it. Okay, I see the pier now. And the boat. We're this close to getting out of here. She's always putting on her bravest face when she's afraid. We're gonna make it, right? I, I can't believe it. We're finally getting out of here. We're finally... We're finally going to leave, Connor Lingus. About time, if you ask me. I've dreamed of this moment every day since... Who knows how long we've been trapped here by now. I never thought I could escape till I got to know you. I laughed. You're giving me too much credit. It was your idea. Find any other sane person, they would have told you the same things. Sane, th sane people don't try to escape with me. I would have stayed sane if it weren't for you, though. He laughed. That was my favorite sound. Yo, this is getting cheesy as fuck. Wait, also... In this, like, dream sequence, I'm assuming it's the past, right? But, like... Are they saying this whole dating simulation game is, like, part of... Like, the Matrix or something? We're, like, trying to escape... Reality to get out of... The brain or something? Or, like... Something... Something... Brain... Something... Something... Something? I feel like... I feel like there's a story here. We both know... That this is where the rubber meets the road. Yeah. Now it's just mad dash to the finish. You ready to run? No. I'm kidding, let's go. The favorite sound of mine once more. I hope it's not the last time I hear it. You guys, I'm pretty sure it's like the Matrix or something. Like, we're like trapped... ...in a virtual reality simulation or something. And we're trying to get out, and like, we've done it in the past with one of the girls. And... Like, one of the girls... Got her memory wiped, probably, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, somebody, and then, I don't know... Something... I don't know. But then they like, messed up on my memory wipe, so we're like... I'm stuck in... I, I got fully wiped, but they only got, like, half wiped or something... Mmm... I don't know. You're thinking Doki Doki right now? Oh, Doki Doki Literature Club? I actually never played that game, but I do know Monica's fucking crazy. That's the only thing I know about that game, but... She is Yandere, I think. Something like that. The girls and I kicked off our morning by testing our Terra's games together. It was multiplayer now, so we could all play together in the same world. This came with its own fair share of consequences. Oh, not just Monica? Oh. I thought it was like Monica was the Yonder and everyone else was like just... Normal-ish. Uh, oh, good to know, Gurren. Good to know. I didn't know that. Thank you for letting me know. I said, cover me! Or you'll have to finish making dinner yourself. I'm trying, I'm trying! There's just too many mutant vegetables attacking! Yui, I need you to cover me! Where are you? I'm sorry, it's the mayor's birthday! I can't decide which...
much berry to give him. It can wait. But then I won't get bonus points. Come to think of it, I think we're running low on tomatoes and carrots. Do you need any, Violet? You have enough to survive the winter, but more supplies are always welcome. I'm on it. Well, the game's like definitely got more exciting. I really wanted for the for them to test the relationships, but like maybe that'll have to wait a bit. I guess we'll see next time. Yeah, next time. I like can't wait. We spent the rest of the morning playing Terra's game. Morning, Connor Lingus. Time sure flies, huh? The show's almost over, and you'll be able to go back to your regular life soon. No idea if that's gonna have any less headache, though. Who knows? As strange as it sounds, it's, I've had some fun here. The whole getting murdered thing isn't great, but it hasn't been all that bad. I did mention that other people would kill to be in your position. On second thought, they definitely hadn't thought it through, though. Probably not. Well, back to business. It's time to pick who you'll go on the f first third date with. Who's the unlucky soulmate candidate today? Well, I mean, we're gonna have to split a date equally anyway, so I might as well go with Ali. To be honest, I'm not sure if your dates with Ali are really dates. More of just trying different kinds of transportation. But hey, whatever floats your boat. Let's get those cameras rolling. Ah, la, la. I found Ellie by the beach, or more accurately, she came running to me. You are not gonna believe this, Connorlingus. What's that? You've got 10 seconds before I take it out of Four's paycheck. Oh, come on. Uh, we'll walk and talk. Come on. Well, let's walk. Maybe more like run like hell. Four is not gonna be happy when he finds out that, that I... Oh, whatever. Come on, let's go. She grabbed my hand and pulled me with her into the forest clearing nearby. She's holding my hand again. What's going on? You are not gonna believe what I just found. What's that? Well, I was wondering how to top the two previous dates when I stumbled upon... Oh, wait a minute. It's better if I surprise you. I'm gonna have to close my eyes again, right? I love how fast you learn things, Connor Lingus. She was singing as she covered my eyes with one hand and pulled me along with the other. You pull me along step by step. I can't say I wasn't enjoying it. Is this a staircase? It feels like metal beneath me. In the middle of a forest? Just a little bit more now, alright? You can open your eyes now. Bye, Latiolas. Bye bye. Have a good one. How on earth? We were inside a small plane. The very same one I've been rudely awakened in my first day here. How did you even... It was just sitting in the forest, so I thought, why not, right? I have so many questions. Wait a minute, are you planning on... Without even bothering to answer me, Ali rushed the cockpit. The cockpit. Oh, crap. Here's to hoping that this goes better than the rollerblades. Huh? I was running... I wonder what this big red button does. Oh god, get me out of here! I ran for the door, but it was already shut tight. And away we go! The engine of the plane roared as we took off. I slammed into the side of the door. Oof. Come on, be honest. You were thinking the same thing. You put, you put a big juicy red button there, completely unattended. You expect a good citizen like me to not press it? You got a point there, but do you have any idea how to, how to fly this thing? Wait a minute, if you're talking to me, then who's flying the plane? Technically nobody, but... Crash! Crash! The right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. We hit it hard enough for it to be slightly deformed. Oof! I slammed into the wall yet again. 
Well, we didn't need that wing anyway. We still have another one. Exactly like kidneys. You have two kidneys. Did it live? Oh no no no! We do have two kidneys. Okay. Forget killer dating shows and forget Damien and Cat. Ali was going to be the death of me. I tried to run to the cockpit, but it was all I could to just stay upright as the plane teetered back and forth. I'm kidding! I've got this. Ali ran to the cockpit without breaking a sweat. Meanwhile, I did my best impression of a ball in a pinball machine. All right, I got this. Why does every VTuber I know watch mix up the liver and kidneys? Yo, you think I passed? You think I had a human anatomy class while I did my classes in school? Hell nah. You think I know how many stomachs we have? Hell nah. The plane seemed to stabilize in a matter of seconds. Oh, thank God. I really thought we were gonna... ...crash. Oops! Once again, the right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. Somehow it bent back into its or original shape. Ayo! We saved ourselves! Not so bad if I say so myself. Alright, that was dumb luck, and you know it. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for! Start gaining altitude slowly at first and faster and faster and higher and higher. Before long, we were soaring high above the trees. Ali yelled out in triumph. Woo! I joined in and yelled out with glee. It's a pretty great feeling, huh? Not dying in a fiery plane crash? Flying free! Without it, what's the point of living? You talk about freedom or flying? Ah, why not both? That said, there's another reason I flew us up here. What's that, Allie? This is the only place I could find on the island that wasn't bugged. No one can eavesdrop on us here. <gasps> oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, you guys. I think it's happening. I think it's happening. I think we will... Uh, maybe we ran away before with her. She knows. Maybe she knows. And sorry for the turbulence, but without it... They might have heard me disable the bugs in here. Believe me. I looked for a safe place as hard as I could. That's why I got the rollerblades in the boat earlier, to find a safe place to talk as fast as possible. But I'm guessing you know what the show is really about then. Unfortunately, yeah. What a bummer, am I right? Unfortunately, I don't think you do, and I can't risk telling you everything either. But why? Believe me, you're better off not knowing. What? Ali, wh what are you hiding? Who are you really? Look, we don't have too much time before we will have to land. This thing's already almost out of fuel. Fair enough, we already started descending. Please just trust me, I'm on your side, Connorlingus. I know there's so many lies going around here, but I really want to help you get out of here. Though I have to admit, it wasn't on my to-do list at first. It's a good thing you're so cute. Ah. I'm kidding, jeez. Oh, he doesn't think we're cute. Do you trust me? <gasps> Do we trust Allie, guys? I don't know. Ah, I think we have to. <laughs> well. Connor says we're gonna trust her. Hello, FGD's SCS. Of course I do, Ali. You know that. You won't regret it. Promise. So, what can you tell me? There's no time. Long story short, there's something on this island I need to find that the people I work with need. It's life or death. Not just for you or me, but for countless others. I came here and save you all, but I won't give up until I have... So at this point, I've done all I can. It's in his hands now. Who's? No time to talk. We're back in range of the island's recording network. Oh shit, I went back too much. No matter what, don't tell anyone what happened here. Not even a little bit. Not even if you think you can trust them. Are we clear? Crystal. 
The plane flew lower and lower. All right, we're back. We're about to be back in the recording zone. What else? What else? Ah! Don't do anything I wouldn't do. That really doesn't limit too much. I guess not. Wait, maybe she didn't actually like me. Maybe the kisses weren't real, you guys. Maybe they were just a distraction. Uh-oh... Uh-oh... Maybe those kisses weren't real. Maybe she actually doesn't like us. You guys! We may be fucked here. Maybe fucky-wucky a little bit. I thought we were gonna be able to trust her, but maybe not. Hmm... Maybe she was acting. But maybe she's trying to save everybody, but she's like... Acting. After we landed, Kat scolded us for taking the plane. Kat and Allie seemed to exchange more than a few uneasy glances as we got off the plane. I made it. I made it. Luckily, nothing came of it. Next, the production staff separated, us, separated Allie and I. It looked like Al Kat had arranged something special for the two of us. All I was told was that I wasn't allowed to see Allie until evening. Apparently, that's the nicest time to film. Till then, the production team helped me to look the part of a romantic novel protagonist. I was dressed to the nines. I must have sat through a few hundred photo shoots and interviews before they told me it was time to see her. But it was worth it. <gasps> oh my god, this is so nice! They're like underwater! Oh my god! You guys, look at this! Yo! Tell me about it, man. I broke one plate here and I have to pay it off for the rest of my life. It is my home, heh <laughs> I mean, uh, welcome to the Ocean Palace. Allow me to show me- show you to your seat. Who gestured at me to follow him. We'd only taken a few steps when I saw her and when I did, I couldn't but help but crack up. You know, I kind of expected you to dress up too, given all the shit the crew put me through. What's the point? It just get ruined. How would it get ruined? Oh, you'll see. Come on. He reached for my hand. I put mine in hers with a smile on my face. It's all fake, you guys! Ah! She pulled me along with her towards the door. Whoa! We stumbled against a table which knocked a plate to the floor. It promptly shattered into a million pieces. <laughs> In case you were watching, Cat, that was two! I knew I should have been an accountant. He laughed as we pulled me along to the outside. The night air had never tasted so fresh. Each breath for air as we ran along the road made me... made my worries and fears just... disappear. Eventually, we ran all the way to the beach. Come on! He tightened her hands and pulled me along with her to the water. Wait, just a... He laughed like a maniac as she cannonballed us into the ocean. My first instinct was to swim back up to the surface, but then Allie put her hand against my face. She looked deep into my eyes. She smiled, then kissed me passionately. <gasps> oh, you guys! She's just playing with us! I don't like this game anymore, you guys! She... It's a fake! It's a fake. Alright. It was this time had stopped. I figure you could use a fun distraction for everything that happened earlier. Was she doing this for me? I never know what to expect with you, you know? And you never will. It was a night to remember. Ah. I don't know how to feel about this, guys. I don't know how to feel. I feel like she's just playing it up for the cameras. But she actually doesn't really love me. I feel like... I feel like love is fake and I'm... She's just playing with my Kokoro. I feel like... I feel like... My heart's gonna be... Ripped into pieces. 
After today's date, I decided to take a stroll around the mansion. The night was clear as could be. A light breeze made it just a bit chilly, but not enough that I need to put on any more. I found myself fixating on the moon without thinking. I thought I'd find you here. Why is that? Just a gut feeling. And the island-wide surveillance system. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm just thinking. I can't believe the show's almost over. It didn't feel real earlier today. Time sure flies, doesn't it? You've only got the third, last third date with Terra tomorrow, then the fi final ceremony on the day after. Speaking of which, how was your date today? Mm, I mean, I feel like I have to say it was awesome. I don't <gasps> Probably shouldn't tell the whole truth, but enough, it should be good. It was awesome. I don't know how, but the more time I spend with Ali, the better it gets. Being married to her would make every day an adventure, and I like the sound of that. I'm sure it'd be an adventure, but the jury's out on if you'd, if it's one you'd walk away from. But I can see she makes you happy, and really, that counts a lot for nowadays. But you might want to wear, a, start wearing body armor if you want to stay that way. Who knew the last three dates were all you needed to figure out if a marriage would last? This TV gig doesn't work out. Maybe I should become a marriage counselor? Hmm. Anyway, I'd love to stay in chat, but I've got to get some work done tonight to prep for the ending of the show. You know what? I could use some company. It's not like you were up to anything. Kat reached out her hand to me and put my hand in hers on instinct. With her hand in mine, she pulled me with her. Do? The library? Now you're probably wondering, why did I bring you here of all places? You like to read? Well, yes, but no. There's no internet for us goons. So here's where we store most of our information. Hidden in plain sight, as regular books. You need to know how to decipher them though. They're pretty useless to the average person. Wow, Teddy, you poo poo pee pee poo poo pee pee. Poo poo pee pee. Oh, I knew the state of education was bad, but not this bad. It still doesn't answer why you brought me here. Well, you see, I have this lovely chair and table here that I, I do so love to work on. And it's truly, really exhausting for me to get up from this lovely arrangement to have to fetch each book I need to reference. So, you want me to grab your book for you so you can just stay here? I'm so glad you understand. And you know, I'm doing everything I can to keep you alive, so it's just a teeny tiny favor. I couldn't help but laugh at her mock pout. Sure, cat, it's the least I can do. Great, alright, to start, I need to grab me the princess of Avaranda. 100 easy recipes for Philosopher's Stone and... I regret everything. This must be the 100th batch of books I had to deliver. It's been hours. Seriously, whoever designed this system should be shot. I tried to read a few books while I was delivering, but like Kat said, they just seem like regular books. That's a wrap. Thank you for helping, Connor Lingus. I'll send it. I'll send a thank you note for when you're off the island or something. At that rate, that was pretty much slave labor. You've got one last date tomorrow. Don't mess it up. I'm curious. What's the first thing you're going to do when you're out of here? Honestly, I'm not so sure. Maybe trying to figure out what my life was before. Who knows? That's as good a start as any. Well, I gotta get back to editing. Night, Connor Lingus. See you, cat. Guess I'll head back to my room and call it a night. Oh. I was like, oh no, we're gonna be talking to more people. The alarms were deafening.
We planned for every possibility we could, but it wasn't enough. We made it to the ship, but it still wasn't enough. Our one saving grace. Our one saving grace. Oh, the ship. Okay. Our one saving grace, the ship, wouldn't start. Someone tampered with it, and there's no time to fix it. That... that's it then. I couldn't find the words to say. I love you. I love you too, Connor Lingus. I wish we could have met anywhere but here. It held me in her arms with the last of her strength. All that's left to do is wait. Goodbye, love. You guys! I don't even know what's happening anymore! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Huh. At least this isn't the worst place I thought I could wake up yesterday. Take that as a compliment. He laughed and pinched my cheek. Welcome back, Zeno. Welcome back. I have some cru more cruising around to do, and I think you've got another date on your plate today. Yeah, that's how the go how the show goes. So he was gone before I even had a chance to finish. That woman is a force of nature. All right, it's Terra time. Well, look who crawled out of an economy class airplane toilet. And good morning to you too, Damien. Connor Lingus, don't mind uh don't mind him. Damien was just telling me the news. Your ratings are doing really well so far. At this rate, I think you'll make it out of here. That's great news. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Just because you've done well till now doesn't mean you won't just jump the shark today. Your ratings today need to be higher than they've ever been or you'll get axed. Axed literally. If I'm around when your number's up, I guess we'll find out that together, won't we? Later. Later, skater. Sorry about him. He can be a little mean sometimes. A murder threat is a little mean? Anyway... You ready for your last date with Terra? Just this day. Tomorrow. It'll be the final ceremony. I'm ready as I'll ever be. Fantastic. Then we'll start filming right away. Good luck, Connor Lingus. You'll need it. Thanks, Cat. I owe you one. Time for my last date with Terra. You're not even in here, Teddy. You're not even a character here. You can't date her. She's on an island. Get on the island first. Pen Island. Penis land. My penis. Found Tara sleeping on the sofa in the games room. He looks so peaceful. Maybe I'll come back later. Zombies everywhere! Ah! Whoa, you okay, Tara? It... It was like... Just a dream. I'm... I'm like, good now. No worries. Seems like it was a pretty crazy dream. No kidding! I, like, dream that we all got turned into zombies? Luckily, there's, like, no way that will, like, ever happen. Did you go to bed late? Hell yeah! I totally spent all night working on the video game. And I finished it, too! Care to join me in, like, testing it out? I, uh... Added some new features. You, like, wanna try it? Sure, I'd love to. It looked like the same game I had played before. What am I looking for? You'll see. I started up the game. Moments later, I saw Tara's avatar run up to me. You've like, made it just in time. The new event is like, totally about to start. What's the new event? As if on cue, giant robotic pigeons flew from the sky and started attacking our avatars. You guys, it's time to fight some pigeons. 
I ran toward the pigeon, preparing for the fight of a lifetime. Don't worry, I totally gotcha. Tara pulled out a giant can of pigeon repellent and started blasting away. Whoa, I think like something's bug, it's like not working at all. Yes, I totally gotta fix that. <laughs> While Tara was laughing at her own mistake, I was being lifted in the sky by the pigeons. I think I'm screwed. Where are these pigeons taking me? I tried to move my avatar, but there is no way to resist the death grip of the robo pigeon. <laughs> Actually, I kind of want to see this robo pigeon. What do you. What? Is pigeon repellent not a thing? I'm pretty sure there has to be something that pigeons don't like or something. The smell of like. Farts. Actually. Pigeons eat trash. Maybe pi if pigeons eat trash, then. Uh, maybe like flowers. I don't ever see pigeons near flowers. I don't know. What do pigeons not like? What do pigeons like? I think they like corn. What's the opposite of corn? Mmm, popcorn maybe? No, there's no way. Pigeons like popcorn. Porn? Yo. Yo. Don't worry, they're like about to fly into the territory of the, the, the maple syrup dragon. The what? Uh-oh. Green lit up with a blast of flying maple syrup. I never thought I'd ever say something like that, but here we are. The maple syrup slammed into the pigeons and forcefully sucked their wings together. As a consequence, they started to fall to the ground at breakneck speed. Ah! ah! Birds have horrible sense of smell? Oh, really? Oh. Maybe it's a visual thing, then. Maybe they don't like giant things. So maybe I'll just show them my enormous penis and they'll run away. Facts. Save me! I haven't saved yet! Ah, I knew I was forgetting something. I forgot, I totally forgot, like, the ability to save. I'll, like, have to write that down. Yes. As Tara took notes, I rapidly fell to my doom. I'm happy for you, but if you could just for a minute... Oh man, I had so much stuff. Is there at least a respawn mechanic? I've never died before in this game. Of course. Just hit the retry button. I pressed the button and watched the world around me reset to the village, sans the giant beast of death. Except now, the village seemed ten times bigger than before. I don't like loud noises. Yeah, they'll, they'll just hear me talking. They'll be like, oh, I need to leave now. <laughs> Wait, when did the village get so big? <gasps> oh my god, did she turn me into a pigeon again? I think she turned me into a pigeon again. And then it dawned on me. Wait, it's not the village that got big. I got small. That's what she said. I took a more careful look at my avatar. I was a pigeon again. I sighed deeply. At the same time, Tara was giggling like a child. We spent a few more hours testing out the rest of the game's new features. Thankfully, there were no more pigeon easter eggs. There's a... Like, one last thing I want to test out, if that's, like, okay? Will it end with me getting turned into a pigeon? No! Just, like, come with me! I followed her avatar to the cabin where we shaded in the woods. When we got there, she turned around, walked up to me, and held out an item I've never seen before. Oh my god, you guys! <gasps> you guys! Ah! Yo! She gave me a ring, man! We are proposing today! Ayo, ayo, ayo! Ayo! You guys, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. She walked up to me and gave me an item called... Ring of You're Pretty Cool. Ah! This is actually really cute. This this little picture that they drew. Why isn't she on one knee? It's okay. I think. Right? 
It's it's fine. You guys probably you know it's. You don't have to be on one knee to propose. What if she has a bad leg? She's probably like super un unathletic anyway. It's okay. It's okay. We're good. It's chill. What's this? Um, like, let me try to like explain. Call the ring of your pog. <laughs> I came onto the show with no idea what it was about. And personally, I like totally thought it was like super stupid at first. But like hanging out with you has been like so much fun. And I've like never really got to work on my hobbies with anybody else until like I met you. And honestly, I've like never had someone to share all of like my crazy shit with, but with you you're like totally different. So I guess what I'm like trying to say is you're like pretty cool and I hope we can keep doing this even like after the show is over. Even though like even though I like I totally friends on you the whole time, like you're like kind of pretty popular. I know! I'd love to. I love to, Tara. You don't even have to ask. I got to say, you caught me off guard with this. Why is that? You giving me this ring to me? Oh well, it could be a little misleading. Y you're You're like, not making any sense. We laugh together and then walk back to the mansion with the spring in our step. We played the day away without a care in the world. Well, like, that's like totally enough gaming. You like up to watch a movie? Sure, what do you want to watch? How about. Whoa. And I saw something I'd never seen before and you would never see again. The sky outside rapidly turning from orange to black as if water was being drowned in the darkest of ink. Then the bright sun in the sky went out, like a candle in the wind. Whoa, what's like going on? She held my hand tight. I could feel that she was scared. I didn't have a chance to respond before I he heard a rush of footsteps going, coming towards us in the dark. Something isn't right. Oh no. We were surrounded. A, film, a familiar voice cut through the short silence of me holding my breath. I'm sorry, Connorlingus. You just didn't make the cut. We've got to get out of here. Just make it quick, please. Connor Lingus, I'm like so scared. What's like happening? I clasped her hand as tight as I could. You need to get out of here. Come on. I didn't even make three steps before I was tackled down and cuffed behind my back. Connor Lingus, hold on out. I yelled at her to run, but she came back to me, try to help me. Tara, you've got to get out of here. I. She screamed. They must have got her. It was no use. Even though she was right in front of me, I was powerless to get even an inch closer. They tackled her down in an instant. I heard the clink of cuffs as they dragged her away. Struggled with everything I had to get up to save her. For what felt like an eternity. Then, nothing. Oh my god, you guys! What the hell is this? Okay. I woke up on an operating table. The kind you'd see in a nightmare. Blood splattered on the floor and the walls. The smell of disinfectant and rotting flesh. Yo. This a little fucked up, man. This... Okay. <laughs> there was a nearby table littered with metal instruments that could make anybody talk. This is totally like the Matrix, you guys! I fucking knew it! This was the Matrix! My first instinct was to get up and get off it as fast as I possible, but my neck, hands, and legs were cuffed and pinned down in thick metal braces. I tried to force myself out with all my strength, but the braces didn't so much as budge. Hello? What's going on? Where am I? Tara? You there? All I heard back were my echoes of my own screams. Wherever I was, this place 
Must have been massive. Like my cock. Hey, Connor Lingus. Cat was holding some kind of helmet with thick wires extruding from the back of it. Don't worry. Tara's doing just fine. She's just... taking a little nap. Cat, what's going on? You've got to help me. I was just on my date with Tara, then everything went dark and those, these guys fucking kidnapped us and... I know, Connor Lingus. I know. Died. You did good, but not good enough. That's pretty much it. Would it make you feel better to hear that you're the best one yet? I don't care! Get me out of here! At this point, there's no point explaining. Place the helmet on my head carefully. Even if I wanted to stop her from doing so, the brace around my neck made it impossible to maneuver. Please, cat, don't do this! I could hear the hum of a massive generator turning, turning on behind me. He raised her hand, revealing a trigger switch with a single red button. I just want to get out of here! I want to get, my, get back to my life, whatever it is! Please! Not today, Connor Lingus. He pressed it. The sounds of crashing waves. A world without time or color. I'm back. This time, it's as if I'm sitting in an audience, watching myself from afar. The escape had failed. I'd been separated from her and captured. We really never had a chance, did we? Find myself praying that she's safe. Anything happened to her? For a moment, the world exploded with color. Always the hero, aren't you, Connor Lingus? What did he do to her? You should have been more worried about yourself. You knew the rules. You try to escape the island, you die. It didn't have to be like this, but you... I'm done talking. Goodbye, Connor Lingus. Oh, will you look at that? Looks like our little hero's got some life left in him. You know, Connor Lingus, you're in luck. Usually I'll just kill you for this, but a new opportunity just opened up, and I think... You'd be the perfect fit! <laughs> I fucking can't with that voice. Hey, don't just lie there. Just five more minutes. You're the star of the show, you just can't sleep through it. Watch me. Oh, that's how you want to play? It's on. Ow! You guys, it's just starting over again? Do we have to play it over and over? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Ow, ow, ow! Did you just hit me? What, me? Never in a million years. Anyway, what was your name again? Oh, my name's... I can't remember my name! Really now? You've got to be joking. I'm dead serious, I can't remember a thing! Who knows, it might be for the better. Luckily, we've got your name on file. Connor Lingus. Oh, it's different, you guys! It's different! Okay. My name's Kat. Nice to meet you. You're the star of our new show, Find Love or Die Trying. Let me get you up to speed. Okay, well... It's not restarting, per se, but... I'm still confused, but okay. Hmm... How on earth did I get into this mess? I somehow... I am somehow stuck on an island in the middle of nowhere. In an insane dating show from hell. None of the girls on the show know the truth and if they found out, they kill all of us. At least the girls seem nice. Allie's quite something. Something tells me she'll be hard to keep up with and that's not just from losing a race to her in the field. Scarlet's interesting. I still got no idea if she was trying to read the magazine or the book hiding it. I'll figure that out later. Tara marches to the owner of her, the beat of her own drum. I like that. Violet's cool but intimidating as hell. 
I'm pretty sure she was about to cook one of the brothers for dinner. And then there's Yui. She seemed like a really sweet girl. Something about her is... ...so familiar. She said she knew me from before. I'll have to ask her about what I was like before as soon as, soon as I can. But for now, the show must go on. And that's why Connor Lingus is the perfect soulmate for each of you. I'm sorry. You just drew a bunch of numbers and symbols that don't mean anything. It's like that bullshit math they like show on on screen in a movie. Ah, you're late to the party, Connor Lingus. And now that we're all together, it's time to explain the rules of the show. Connor Lingus, one of the five lovely women here is your soulmate. You'll get to know three of the girls over the nine days. Over three dates with each of them. Wait, what? This time it's three? Oh, they're telling me to choose the other three, I think. Yo, I didn't realize this game was this long. Okay. Then on the tenth day, you'll have to ask one of them to marry you. So I've got ten days to save my life. Wait, why is it ten days now? Literally, it was like three days last time. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. I get it, I get it. Okay, last time it was six. Because it was three dates with two girls, and now it's three dates with three girls, which is ten. Okay. Alright, makes sense. Make yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. So without further ado... Who do you want to spend time with? Wait, I have to choose already? I haven't even had the chance to talk, really talk with any of them yet. Don't think of it that way. Think of it as... Who do you want to talk to the most right now? Uh, alright. Well, I guess I'd like to spend alone time with... Hold on a second. I forgot to tell you something important. He pulled me aside. This should be far enough. So the girls think you'll be asking any of the five of them for a date? Really? I want you to ask... You'd be asking three of them. Basically everybody but Tara and Allie. Why is that? Let's just say we think we'll be getting higher ratings that way. And you know how important it is to get high ratings, right? I don't really have a choice, do I? Nope. Glad we're on the same page, Connor Lingus. So without further ado... Alright, well... I guess we have to date Yui first. Because Yui was next on the popularity vote. I think it was... Oh, Violet had the least. So it was Yui, Scarlet, and then Violet. Hmm. Alright, guys. Hold on, I need to go pee. I'm gonna go pee. I need to go pee real quick. Please enjoy the music of... Uh, something. Big bang while I go pee. Oh, that was really loud. I'm sorry. This is a wild trip. Okay, hold on. Okay, that's probably... Sorry! Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Sorry, I fixed it. I'm sorry. Okay. Wait, is it too loud now? Yeah, put it... Hold on. I'm sorry! Okay. So, okay, is it better now? I think it's better now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go pee now. I'm gonna go pee. I'll be right back. It's pee time. Pee time!
imaginary Where are you now? Bum 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 Okay Alright I'm back From peeing Okay, 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 okay We are now dating Yui I think, yes, yeah, Yui Who is the childhood friend, childhood friend time Thank you, thank you, thank you! I was cooking some fried chicken, if you know what I mean. Ah! Okay. The forest to the north of the house was serene as can be. With every step forward, I felt the soft earth give away beneath my feet, and the wind caress my face. Green as far as the eye can see, and her, in a flowing white dress, standing in the middle of it all. That's very... Fantasy-like, but okay. Hey there, Connor Lingus. What you doing all the way out here? Are we looking for her? I don't know if we want to look for her. I don't know. Yes, we were looking for her. I was looking for you, Yui. I was hoping we could spend some time together because apparently we used to fuck before. Then consider me the luckiest girl in the world. Yui had the cutest giggle, the kind that instantly put a smile on your face. It sounded like, eh heh heh. Well, you found me now. Eh heh heh. Care to join me for a walk? Care to join me for a walk? I'd like that. Okay, 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 okay. We started to walk down the forest path together. I couldn't help but be fascinated by her hair. Blowing like water in the wind. Hi, Spaniard. Hello. I doubt you remember, but... I'm from way out in the country. I grew up, grew up surrounded by the animals, natures, you name it. It was just me and my grandma. My sisters and the alpacas, and the, my bunnies, Bun and Bun Bun, and the chickens, and too many farm animals to count. To answer your question from earlier, nature takes me back home. Nee hee 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 Do you still live there? Yep, wouldn't have it any other way. Oh ho 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 ho! Though I have moved to the city for a bit, way back when. You know, that's when I met you. How did we meet? Well... You know, one thing I hated about the city is that... Everyone's in a rush. People just walking by each other as if... There are obstacles to get past instead of... Well, people. I came to the city alone. Didn't know left from right. And I got lost. I swear, every building looking the same. You can say that again. I try to ask people for directions to where I would live. Or where the school was, but... No one would give me the time of day. Except for you. I helped you? Yeah. You didn't even know me, but you took the time to help me figure my way around. Gosh, I've never been so embarrassed in my whole life. <laughs> Why were you embarrassed? Ah, uh, you know. <laughs> Shy. We found out later we went to the same high school. But we never talked too much after that. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's not your fault, Connor Lingus. I had to move back home pretty soon after anyway. Well, I'm happy I'm getting a second chance to get to know you better, Yui. I feel the same way, Connor Lingus. You're just like how I remember. Well, actually the whole trying to date five guys at a time came out of nowhere, but... Life is full of surprises, I guess. It shouldn't take long to remove them from the equation. Oh my god, wait, maybe she's actually Yandere, you guys. You guys, there is Yandere behavior here. There is yandere behavior here. Look at the sentence. It shouldn't take long to remove them from the equation. 
Very suspect. Very, very suspect. Very sus. Sorry, what did you say? I couldn't hear you. Just a little joke. <laughs> I was just saying I'm so happy to see you again. Here's to the future. We spent the rest of the day talking in the nature, making up for lost time. Apparently, I was always ending up in trouble back then. Something about Yui made it easy, so easy to open up. I found myself almost telling her the truth about the show several times. Even though I couldn't tell her the whole truth. I could tell her just enough that she was what was worrying me to make me feel at home and at ease. Whatever's getting you down, I'm sure it'll all be okay. No matter what, I'm on your side, Connor Lingus. I'm on your side, Connor Lingus. Never mind, I was gonna say something, but I stumbled back to the room and plopped onto my bed. Who'd be coming in at this hour? Shuffled over in a haze. Hey there, Connor Lingus. Sorry to bother you this late. It's alright, what's up, cat? Don't mind me. Just gonna make myself real comfortable. Cat walked by me and comfortably sat herself on my bed. I really got get I really gotta get one of these beds for myself already. I closed the door then sat facing her on the opposite side of the bed. So what brings you here tonight? Can't stop thinking about me? Wink wink. Wink wink. Wink wink. Wink wink. Nudge nudge. You wish. Unfortunately, it's my job to help you survive until the end of the show. And that means checking in with you every night to see how you're doing. And making sure you're doing our best on ratings. That's nice to That's nice of you, Cat. Thanks. Well, to be honest, I don't have a choice. Finding a new person to take your place would be a recruiting nightmare. Back to what I'm here for. Your date with Yui was ratings knockout. People can't stop raving about your date with Yui today. I mean, mostly death threats, but because they want to be in your position, but... Nice to know that the outside world is safer than here. They're just jealous. Most people would dream of having someone like Yui be their soulmate candidate. Then again, it's no fun if this is just the Yui show. We need more drama, betrayal, romance. Tomorrow, I want you to find who your second soulmate candidate is and ask them out on a date instead. We're going on a date with Scarlet, I think. I would have expected more resistance, but I guess you understand your situation. Without those ratings getting higher and higher every day, they'll axe the show and your life with it. I guess that makes sense in a some warped way. I'm impressed how well you took that. I almost think it wasn't your first time on a life or death killing dating show. <gasps> oh my god, that's why she told us that last time! I almost think it wasn't your first time on a life or death killing dating show. Oh my god, you guys. You guys, you guys, you guys, things are happening. Okay, okay. Well, that's pretty much what I needed to tell you. Getting late. You both got big days tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Night, Connor Lingus. Good. She was gone before I had a chance to finish. Guess it's time to call it a night. The sound of waves. Hey, I can hear her calling out to me within a dream. It's you. I love you, Connor Lingus. I always will. And I'll always love you too. My mouth moves on its own. Even if there's so many other women on this show? It could never be you. I held her tight and kissed her. You promise? I promise. Promises are unbreakable, you know. That's what you told me. I meant every word I said. She smiled at me. You better have. Your face is becoming clearer to me every day that goes by. I know you're here with me, but which one are you? Guys. Guys. In the morning, the girls and I decide to hang out in the garden outside the house. 
Oh wow, there's all kinds of flowers here that I've never seen before. Really? You've never seen a tulip? Grandma and I only grew... Fuck that word back home, so nope. I yeah yeah no I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> thank you for the hydrate, Lenka. Thank you, thank you. I might have to take a break. I think my I'm like scared. Like my, my throat's about to die. <laughs> I think after like one more one more date, we'll we'll take a we'll take a break. I have to switch switch the game. I think my the switching of the voices is like. <laughs> Haya, 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 haya sense. Haya sense. That does not sound real. That word does not sound real. I don't know what that word is, but that doesn't sound real. I love that flower cone. Fuck that word. I mean, look at it. Look at that. Grandma and I only grew. Haya, haya, haya. <laughs> <laughs> you know that word? I don't even know what that is! It's like... <laughs> I know English is like my second language, but like, fuck that word, dude. I know most words, but like, yo... Yo, fuck that word! Hyacinths. Yo, that, that doesn't even sound like a real word. English is your second? Hell yeah, it is! Also, hi Zio, how's it going? Sound it out. When you say sound it out, it makes me feel like I've been back in like fucking third grade or something. When I like learned English. Yo, English fucking whack. <sighs> well, okay, we're gonna just move on. Fuck you and your grandma, Yui. Fuck you. Not even on, like, the internet. And I, like, thought I had to, like, get out more. I can believe that. The only flower I ever worked with are Venus flytrap. Well, we do a lot of experiments at the lab. Don't you ever find yourself thinking... Wouldn't it be cool to make a Venus flytrap that could walk and talk? Hard leg, hi. How's it going? Literally, like, never. Ah, uh, it's whatever. She ran away two years ago. Both of my neighbors lost their pet cats that same day, too. I miss you, Fluffy. What do you mean? When you when I first saw you, I said, "How are you, Duologs?" What do you mean? <laughs> Hi, Hasanuka. Hi. How are you? What do you mean? Also, I just saw Hardleg spend like 13k gems, so please pray for his wallet. <laughs> I, I was watching the Master Duel's his stream of building the, the Libromancers. I was like, yo, that's a lot of gems. <laughs> Prage. Prage. 80 IRL daughters. Oh, dollars. Not daughters. Dollars. Probably not worth it. I mean... I didn't realize they were that expensive. That kind of sucks. That's that sounds like <laughs> eighty do daughters. <laughs> That's how many maidens had to be sacrificed to get those gems. It's worth it for the content. Do it for the content. Hell yeah! I love Ame's sultry voice. Oh no! <laughs> Am I becoming a? Wait, what if I just tried doing like ASMR? Just like. Ultra voice ASMR. I wonder. I wonder. Maybe we can do that one day. It'll be. It'll be. It'll be very strange though. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, but it, maybe we can do it. Wait, Ame's sultry voice is really good. Not gonna lie. <gasps> Wait, is, is that just a genuine compliment that I just got? Did I just get a a genuine compliment? 
Your sultry voice reminds me a lot of Akumiyawi's. Oh, look at that! It's Duolog's favorite... Uh... Streamer. Well, I don't know about favorite. Top top three streamer. I always compliment you. Okay, okay, how about this? How about this? During the subathon, I'll... I will have a ASMR stream and we can... I'll just do, like... I don't know, copy pasta stuff, but I'll do it like in a nice voice or something. AKA not my real voice, <laughs> because this is my real voice. <laughs> I'll do it in my sultry voice, but not my real voice. Yo, that's kind of... When is the subathon? Oh, okay. You know what? Maybe we should... And I don't say that lightly, because I love Meowies. Oh, <gasps> you know what? Yo, I just got a real compliment from Dual Logs. This is real. This is real. It's happening. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe, wait, hold on. Maybe I go over my subathon shit one more time. Because I feel like maybe we have different people. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go find it. Hold on. Give me one sec. We are advertising. It is advertisement time. Okay. Alright. Um... So! Oh. Hold on, Toad. Sorry, Toad. I'm excommunicating you just for a little second. Oh, Lime too. Okay, goodbye, Lime. Okay. Alright, so... This... Is my goals and stuff for my uncapped subathon thingy majiggy? Um, it will be starting this Saturday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Um, yeah. Uh, so if I mean Pacific time, so whatever time zone you're in, I'll change it. I don't know something, but it's gonna start this Saturday, so uh, February 4th. Um, and we have a bunch of goals. It's gonna help me and uh my house. And fix my toilets, hopefully. And also, hopefully, pay for more things that I can stream with and stuff. Yay! Um, so I have a lot of sub goals. Uh, what time specifically? 11. Bringing back the tweet written by chat. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're bringing that back. We're bringing that back. Yes, we are gonna fix my toilet, thank god. I need to... I'm really sick of not pooping in my own house. Okay. Um... So we have a couple goals here. Obviously, I don't expect to make all of them. Um, some of these are ginormous. So we are, you know... These are just stretch goals. If we make it, we make it. If we don't, we don't. And that's totally fine. Please only donate if you're financially stable. Um, if you, you know, pay your bills... Take care of yourself first, and then, you know, if you wanna... If you decide to subby wubby, I do appreciate your support. Thank you. Um... The time is... Every sub is five minutes, and every uh, hundred bits is one minute. Also, same with uh, regular donation dollars. Uh, those are also dollar a minute. Um, and every five subs actually gives you entry to amazing Defender Yu-Gi-Oh! Box giveaway. So I have... Oh my god. Oh my god, dual axe, hold on. Don't do anything yet. We can decide on Saturday or something. I don't know, I'm just nervous. I, I've never done uncapped before. I'm actually kind of scared how long I'll be streaming, but... Um, but I will say... I will not be streaming while I'm sleeping. Um, the stream will be like... Like, we're gonna be pausing the subathon as, you know, as I need to go to bed and I need to go to work and stuff. Um, but we will stream as long as we need to. So yes. Um... So yeah, we have a bunch of sub goals. Choosing Twitter profile picture, Yu-Gi-Oh! archetype tier list, singing the NTR song, playing words on chat with chat, playing Jackbox with chat, chat making a tweet for me, as long as it's TOS safe, taking a shot of alcohol, chat chooses a new redeem, um, reveal a new gremlin model. I'm excited, really excited about that. Um, it's been... I've been hoarding it for a little bit. A lot, a little, a little while, so I'm really excited to show that to everybody. Uh, reveal a song cover. I've been working on a song cover. Um, and I will reveal it if it that number. Um, 600 is, uh, choosing a new horror game to play. I will play a horror game of Chad's Choice. Last time it was, uh... Outlast, so... Anyway... Um... Next one will be eating a spicy one chip. I will probably shit and cry, because apparently... It made people shit and cry, so... Uh, 
I'm a little worried about that, not gonna lie. I'm like worried I might not make it to the toilet in time. But we'll see. Okay, anyway. Um... Uh, 800, Nick, uh, chat chooses my next cover song. Uh, I gotta have Pilk. Gotta get Ame to play Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. Not like COD, but it's... Talk. Okay, I'm not gonna say that. Um... Wait, Pilk! What's Pilk? Isn't that penis milk? Wait. Okay, I don't think it's penis milk. Oh, it's Pepsi milk. Uh wait, you guy you you drank pilk? Wait, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, um, oh hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, but pilk though. I can't drink milk, you guys. I'm lactose. Do you want me to go to the bathroom during the subathon and go to my 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 neighbor's house during the subathon? And go to the toilet because I fucking will. Because I can totally. I mean, I can ask them, I guess. Oh, soy almond. Oh, I guess I could. What does pilk even taste good? I feel like. I don't know if that'll even taste good. Pepsi and milk? No. Oh, it doesn't taste good. Okay. <laughs> no, toilet ace of are you kidding me? That's nasty. <laughs> That's so gross. Yo, okay, anyway, um... And then at 900, we have a cooking stream. I've always wanted to do a cooking stream, so I thought it might be a good opportunity or, you know, something, something. I heard it's kind of like a root beer float. <gasps> oh! You know what? I like root beer floats, though. Float, float, floats, though, so maybe I'll like it. Maybe I'll like it. I actually like root beer floats. I've even put Sprite Sprite and ice cream together, and that one's not that bad either. I kinda like it. Okay. Um, and then at 1K, I would order a VR chat model, because I uh, kind of wanted to do like a VR like 3D model kind of thing. That sounds really fun. And then at 2K, uh, IRL cosplay stream. Um, yeah. We have some incentives. And of course, um, the amount of... Uh, Subs that you would cumulatively don't know. Um, at 10 subs, I'll put your name on the screen. At 25, I'll write your name on my arm or body or wherever um, things are. I have skin. Um, at 50, I will choose an emote. Uh, or actually, you can choose an emote for me. And uh, I will make an emote. At 75, I will. Make a one-minute personal voice note for you. Uh, please tell me what to say. And then a hundred, a handwritten nice letter. Right, my my flesh arm. Unless you want me to write, I mean, because you're, I mean, the the the, the your, your your name's already gonna be on the screen at for ten. So I was like, I'll put it on my flesh arm and I'll take a picture or something. You want me to take a picture of it? But yeah, you have skin. <laughs> no, actually, um, I have no skin. It's just. Fat and muscle. Well, yeah. Who you cosplay? Um, I didn't... I haven't decided. Maybe Hosho. I can do Hosho. Or I can do like someone cuter. Like Klee or something. Or I can do Sucrose. I don't know. I haven't decided who I'm gonna cosplay, but... Um... I'm not tattooing you guys on my arm. I'm just writing you guys with permanent marker. Yo. Oh, I should cosplay as myself? Oh, that might be hard. That would be kind of cool, though. I would have to make my... my... costume. Okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I haven't... <laughs> that would be so meta. <laughs> I still need to make her dress! Okay, I'll make her dress. I'll fucking make a dress. You just need a red wig, crown, and little ear things? True. True, actually. True. Okay, well. Anyway, this is, um, the goals. 
Um, I do not expect to hit most of them, but here they are. Um, and it will start on Saturday. I will put, I think, two hours. I'm gonna start with, I think, one or two hours on the clock. I haven't decided yet. I think probably one hour. One hour on the clock to start off with. And then if we get no donos, then we'll finish in one hour. And if we don't, we will keep going for eternity, I guess. Um, yes. So this is it. This is the, the thingy. Um, oh, also, I forgot to mention, every five subs will give you entry to a div the Amazing Defenders Yu-Gi-Oh! box giveaway. Because I have two boxes to give away. So I have one giveaway going on on Twitter right now. And I have one going on through the subathon. So that's what is going on. I'm always afraid if I do a subathon, no one would donate and I finish after one hour. No way! I, I swear, you have simps too. You have, you have, you have simps too, don't worry. Yeah. You, you got some real simpage going on. Don't worry, I will, I'll donate like, couple subs, you know? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Jim, Bob, Big Fro... Okay, hold on. I've considered a subathon, but I'm old and I can't stay up late. You're getting gonna get at least five hours. Okay, I'll 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 take your word for that. Okay, all right. It seems like I feel like it might be a good time to actually end because I feel like I'd, I I want to save my voice for um stuff. Hold on, how do I save in the game? Oh, I saved. Oh, that was that easy. Okay, we're quitting now. Yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Thank you guys, everyone, so much for coming to tonight's stream. I had a very good time. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, I will see everyone as normal on Thursday because we will still have our normal Yu-Gi-Oh! Thursday stream. Um, as per usual. Uh, on the thingy maji because... Stuff. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. But yeah. Master Duel on Thursday, as usual. And then, on Saturday, we will start our subathon. You can't wait for Yu-Gi-Oh! Thursday. <laughs> why did I, Why does that sound like that's, like, a little... not true? <laughs> okay, well, during the subathon, I hope we have a lot of fun. I have a couple of activities planned, and I'll add ASMR to that activity letter, I guess. Um, because apparently... I can do ASMR now. Did you know I can do some ASMR? Or something. I just find it's like really weird coming out like how I look like. Because like I don't actually... I don't know. Like the voice that I have right now is like my voice. So like... It's not the same, you know? It's like... It's just like not the same. It's just not the same. This is my voice. But like I can lower my voice and like just do like a... A sultry voice or whatever you call it. I don't, I don't know. But like... Why is there a goldfish talking in the mic? That's me. Motherfucker. Um, anyway, uh... I don't know, it's just, it's just... It's a gap moy, is that what that is? I don't know, it's just, I just, I don't know what... It's not like uncomfortable, I'm just like... It's me, but it's not me, you know? I'm, I'm just doing a voice, you know? So... But, you know... I mean, I, I guess I'm happy that I have the ability to do that, but it's still kinda whack. But, maybe we, yeah, well, let's do some ASMR. We can do some ASMR. Called acting. I'm a real actor. Hell yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, little, we're going to raid. We're going to raid. We're going to raid. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um. Okay, except your apology, Songi, so old man. I got her. All right, guys, I will see you on Thursday. Yay! See you on Thursday, everybody. See you on Thursday, everybody. I'll see you on Thursday, and then on Saturday, I'll see you on Thursday, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. Good night. Oh, yes, me. Bye.